Hey, what's up? It's Coach with Lift Fitness coming at you, uh, BlueSpringsPersonalTraining.com. Thank you for checking out this video. Coming at you real quick, interrupting my own workout because uh, there's something that you need to know. Um, I was talking to an individual just a, a few weeks back, uh, and they were like, Coach, uh, I just work out. Like, I don't have this game plan. Uh, I just go and I work out and I do whatever I'm feeling like for the day. And while that's great, you need to be doing something that you enjoy. And you can definitely keep it fresh and still stay within your parameters uh, so that you are still making consistent gains to whatever goal you have. But if you do not have that blueprint, if you do not have that long-term tracking, uh, it, whether it you know, be with pencil and paper or having the idea of, you know, this, this month I'm going to be doing this style of programming and I'm going to be uh, adherent uh, to this, this style of reps or this number of rests, uh, or these number of sets or what have you. What is most important above everything else is volume. And volume is simply your say, sets times your reps times your uh, uh, sets, reps, weight. Uh, so how much weight you lift overall uh, per particular body part throughout the day. And so if you're doing like, uh, for simplicity purposes, two sets of squats of 100 pounds uh, for 10 reps, you're looking at 2,000 if my math is quick. Uh, and on point right there, 2,000 uh, pounds is your volume. And you need to make sure that that volume number is increasing steadily throughout that periodization or that period of style of weight training. So if you're going for bodybuilding, that needs to be, you know, the 8 to 12 reps. Uh, that needs to be however many sets. It doesn't matter because you can affect your volume by addressing your sets or you can affect your volume by addressing your weight or you can affect your volume by addressing the reps. So if you started out with eight, you can increase to 10 with the same amount of weight uh, uh, throughout the period, uh, throughout the, the next two to, to six weeks, depending upon how long your period uh, of style of programming is. So that's really critical. That's just something that you need to take away. Uh, and if you're serious about your bodybuilding or if you're serious about getting stronger, that is absolutely imperative. You can't just go to the gym and just lift weight and expect that you're going to be making the consistent gains throughout that period because frankly you could just be shortening yourself out. So this is what I want you to do. I'm going to challenge you over the next one or two workouts to, to figure that out briefly. If you're doing like some shoulders, uh, whether you're doing the entire uh, workout is going to be shoulders or whether you're just doing one or two shoulder exercises or what have you, start kind of keeping track. Uh, at least make a mental note and even better is just write down that number, um, sets, weights, and reps and then multiply it to figure out what that number. So if you did overhead presses as well as uh, like front raises for example something that typically only bodybuilders will do those are both shoulder exercises you're going to calculate both of that volume and then add it together to see what the overall volume you did for the shoulders coach with lip fitness coming back at you blue springs personal training.com with your today's quick tip